Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold resolve the driver power state failure blue screen error you're coming across on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold it resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just stuff click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, it's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back to Registry Editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now, I would suggest creating a backup of your registry so if anything ever went wrong, you could easily restore it back. So, in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab, select Export. For file name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and save it to a convenient location on your computer or external media. And then go ahead and select save. And if you ever need to import it back again, just go ahead and left click on the file tab and select import. So pretty straightforward process. Now that you've done that, we're going to open up the start menu. Type in CMD. You can close out of the registry editor, by the way, if I was not clear about that. But anyway, in the start menu search results, we see command prompt, right click on it, select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. I want you to copy the first one that starts with a reg add. So just highlight it over in my description, right click on it and copy. And then go up to the top part of the command prompt window here. Right clicking on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Hit enter. Should see the operation completed successfully. Now you want to type in the second command or you can paste it in like you did the first one. It's fine with me either way and hit enter. It might say that the requested service has already been started. It might also say that it is starting and has been started successfully. So it's okay in either case here. Once you're done, close out of here. Restart your computer and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.